Well, what I'm going to be making here is some cod kebabs or skewers, if you want to call it that. Get them on here. The reason why I'm doing this, I had a few little bits of fish left over, as you can see here. And I thought, rather than doing more of the last recipe that I showed you, that um, poor man's lobster, I thought I'd do a few kebabs with them. What I've got is a bit of a leftover pepper here, so I'm going to use that. Basically this, you just want to slice it up into chunks and obviously get rid of the seeds. So what I'm going to do is get this cut up, get rid of all the seeds, get it into nice little cube sizes, just like that. So you get rid of all them seeds. And basically we'll get through this now, cut it all up and I'll return. But yeah, there's lots of different ways of cutting these peppers. Everyone does it differently. I have no special way of doing it. I butcher it and get rid of the seeds, simple as that. But yeah, and also with the peppers I find, don't use the white bits. Them white bits right there spoil it. So I'll get rid of those. So we'll get this sliced up now. And I'll come back to you in a second. So what we've got here, we've got a little pile of cod and a little pile of peppers. The way I start this off, basically, what you want to do is sort of encase the cod inside the peppers. So I'm going to slide that up the stick. And then you can just get a few pieces of cod if you want to. Slide them on, just a couple of chunks, maybe two chunks. You could even go with three, I suppose, looking at this. The bigger these chunks, the better, to be honest, because cod is pretty soft. What I'll do then, another piece of pepper. What I normally do with this, I use pepper and I also use red onion, but we don't have any red onion left. So I'm showing you just with the pepper. But obviously, you can add whatever you like to this. If you wanted to, you could have garlic, you could have red onions. Literally, the list is endless. But this was a leftover pepper, which would end up going in the bin. So I thought, why not do one of these with it? So yeah. I'll get these th all threaded on now and I'll get back to you once it's all threaded and show you what the next stage is. But there we go, look. Well, as you can see here, that's all done. Just like that. So what we'll do now, give it a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. You can add any seasoning you like to this. Experiment with it, try different things. Me personally, I'd prefer to keep it simple. So I'll give it a sprinkle of salt a sprinkle of salt, not a sprink. Turn it over and I do the same. This is sea salt as well. I try and avoid table salt. Table salt's a lot more unhealthy than sea salt. No salt's good for you obviously, but sea salt's more natural. Table salt manufactured in it. So there we go, bit of salt like that. And then I get a bit of pepper on it. You don't want too much pepper. And they do say uh, white pepper's better with fish, but I don't really buy white pepper, so I just use a bit of black pepper. Just like this, get it all over. I'm doing this now while the pan's melting. I've got butter in the pan melting down. So there we go. Right, I'll take you over to the pan now. What we've got here is a bit of butter in the pan. Just now let this little bit of butter melt down here. As soon as that's melted down, we're going to get on with cooking this little cod kebab. But yeah, we'll get that melted down now. What I'm using is like a griddle pan. It's my steak pan. But I prefer using this because of the ridges. Not all of the fish is on the bottom of the pan. So you'll end up with a few like black lines on it where it's got a bit burnt and the rest of the fish is nice and moist. You do want the pan quite hot for this. You want a nice sizzle when you drop it in. But I'm going to say that's about ready now. So get this fish in. That's the sound that you want. I don't know if you can hear that there. And roughly a minute either side is enough. But it obviously does depend on the chunks of your cod. If you've got massive chunks, it will take a little longer. But as you can hear there, that's a nice sizzle. Don't move it, leave it exactly where it is. And what I've done, I've got the pan turned up on full heat at the moment, just to get that color on that fish. You want a nice bit of browny black colour on it, like a charred colour. And you will see the fish starting to cook around the edges here. But we'll give it roughly a minute on that side, and we'll turn it on either side for a minute each, roughly. 
I can smell it already, it absolutely smells amazing. And while it's at this stage now, what you want to do is get a bit of this butter in the corner and just drizzle it over it as it's cooking, baste it in the butter. It just helps to keep the fish seriously moist. And you want to keep doing this on all sides after it's cooked. We'll check this fish now. Colours like on it. It should be nice. Yeah, look at that. So we'll turn it onto that side now. That's the sort of colour you're looking for. Don't forget to keep basting it. That's important. It's a lot of flavour in this butter, the seasoning and stuff. And like I said, you can add whatever seasoning you like. And be careful with the cod as well, because cod is quite a soft, flaky fish. I have done this in the past and it's gone wrong and it's fell apart. So be really careful. We'll turn this pan down just a touch. You don't want it smoking like it's starting to do. Let's check this, it's cooking pretty quick. Yeah, look at that colour there, look. That's what you want. We'll turn it onto this side. Same again. I wish you could smell this. One day we get smell of vision you'll all be dribbling. It smells amazing. We'll check all these sides now. And once they're nice and coloured up, which they are, Turn the heat down, right down to like number one, number two, and just give it a minute or so. What you can do to test it is break a little bit of fish off on one side there, look. And as you can see, that's cooked perfect. Look, it looks absolutely amazing. Nice, soft and flaky. Well, as you can see, this fish is pretty much done. It is starting to fall apart where I broke that chunk. So I'm going to get it out of the pan now. And there we go, look at that. You can see the juice coming off it, look. Lift this up to you. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. What I'll do now, a little bit of lemon. And just drizzle a tiny bit of lemon over it. Don't go too crazy, just a few little drips and drops like that, look. Flip it over, and do the other side. And that's it. There is your cod kebab. Absolutely amazing. The cod kebab. I can't eat too much of this because it's meant to be for the wife, but we're going to try a little bit now. I can't, I can't resist it. And you'll see how flaky this is. Fall apart. Look at that. That's actually better than the last catch and cook. When you've got that poor man's lobster, this beats it by a long shot. Yeah. Look at that. Well, if you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to eat the rest of this. Oops, I dropped some. I'll save her half. Yeah, that's nice.